Okay, let's make a BNC connector. We have some coax cable, and we have a connector here in front of us. There's a center pin, which will go over the center conductor of the coax cable. There's the main body of the BNC connector, and then there's the ferrule, which will crimp on, and that will hold everything together. So the first step is to strip our cable. This stripper has uh, three cuts that it's making. We'll insert the cable into this strip tool. Let's look at the side. We just want to get it out flush with the side. We'll spin it. Do that. Now let's look at our parts. This is coax. We have our center conductor. We have just some of the white dielectric. And then under this third cut. So now that we have our cable stripped, the first step is to put our ferrule on. It's in place. As a next step, we'll want to attach our center pin to this center conductor. Let's put it on. We we'll want to make sure that it fits nice and snug. We'll trim a little piece off here. We can see it in our inspection hall. flush with the dielectric. Give it a good squeeze. You can see it's attached. Now we use our flaring tool to flare out the braided shield. For an RG59, slide it over the dielectric and give it a push. So it pushes it out nice for us. Slide the main body over the connector. and we'll need to push it in just a little bit till we feel it snap. So now it's snapped in place. As a final step, we'll push up the ferrule and give it a good crimp. Some things to look for. First of all, is the center pin through far enough? Let's give it a push with our finger and make sure that it makes an indentation on our finger. That's an indication that the center pin is indeed far enough through. Secondly, let's give it a good tug. And that's nice and secure. BNCs are found throughout our industry, primarily for video, but also for antenna connections. Now the real advantage of a BNC connector is it locks in place so that we know once we put it on and lock it in, it's going to stay there.